my last fight, I believe it was boring, but uh, I, got, I got stuff I can do. I just ain't had a chance to show it. I couldn't cause do the injury. Well, the injury I, I had, I got it from Dean Lister. I was just playing around with him. He went for a takedown. Of course, he, he wouldn't go get it. I sprawled, and when he, when I sprawled, my, my toe got stuck in the mat and my knee popped. That's why I think I completely tore it during warm-ups. Or if I didn't tear it during warm-ups, I tore it all the way during the first round. I couldn't be 100% and I couldn't fin get the finish like I wanted to. That was what I was going to do. I want to knock him out on his feet. But I couldn't do it. After the fight, I had surgery. Probably like two weeks, three weeks later, they said I had a torn ACL, torn meniscus. And then after the surgery, I did rehab the next day. My regimen for my knee, it consisted of uh, doing a buso ball and they had me doing some crazy stuff I ain't never seen, I ain't never heard of, but it was hard. And it got me strong, got my core strong. I'll, I'll be straight, come fight time, I'll be good. Mo fighting Marco is just Mo bitch slapping Marco like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Wrestling-wise, Mark Kerr was a great wrestler. Man, he was a real good wrestler, but I'm, now, I know he ain't gonna wrestle me. Ain't nobody out wrestle me that's an MMA fighter, so they can go ahead and chalk that up. Look, I mean, I guess it's a fair fight on paper, but Mo is just so aggressive, so much technically better. His body's in good shape, he's mentally together, he's physically together. I would not suggest anyone get in the ring with Mo unless they are 100% tip-top shape physically, mentally. Every part of their life is going A-OK -okay because otherwise you're gonna get really, really, really messed the fuck up. And that's, that's just, a, that's the plain truth. <laughs> Marco's size won't have any effect whatsoever on Mo. It, it's just not gonna have one iota of a difference. He could be another foot taller and another 100 pounds heavier. I still don't give him the fight. Skill, you know, skill, and Anthony Silva showed it. A, 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 a well-prepared, small guy with good skill and a good game plan will win. If you have the right game plan and the right set of skills, you can win a fight. I did my first fight was against Travis View, who was 250. And I, I was smaller, but I had the, the proper skill set to defeat him. So I think I have the right skill set to fight bigger guys. Like Bushwick Bill said, size ain't shit. <laughs>